Hi, this is Helena Hart from CommitmentConnection.com and in this video I'm going to be giving you five things that you should never do when a man pulls away. These are really important, you know, I can speak from personal experience and in the experiences of my clients, often when a man starts acting distant or pulling away, what we feel the most compelled to do in those moments is usually the exact opposite of what we should be doing. And we can tend to do all these things that actually push him further away or keep him at a distance. I've certainly been there myself. Maybe you can relate. So hopefully this will be helpful for you if you're at that place. But before I get started, if this is your first time to our channel, be sure to click the button to subscribe to get all of our videos on how to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted. So let's get started. The first thing I say to a woman who comes to me and she doesn't know what to do because her man is pulling away or acting distant, I always say, don't panic. That's the first thing. Don't panic. And I know it can be easy to get all worked up and start panicking when a guy starts acting like something's wrong. But what I always tell women in this situation is a lot of times it has nothing to do with us. A man might pull away because he's stressed out. Maybe there's something going on you know, with work or in some other area of his life. And when men get flooded with emotions or when they're really stressed, they can just kind of shut down. It's like a circuit board that just gets shut off. And their first reaction often is to kind of retreat into their cave, so to speak, and pull away. But a lot of times we can take it personally. We can think that we somehow caused it. And we think if we caused it, then we can fix it somehow, right? And that's when we do all of those things that actually don't work and don't inspire a man to come back towards us all on his own. So that's the first thing. Don't panic. The second thing is uh, don't blame yourself or beat yourself up. And I see this a lot and I can get into this as well, of course, just like anybody. But what, what it does, it creates this downward spiral. If you're blaming yourself, if you're beating yourself up or you know, start thinking about, oh, I should have done this differently. I should have said this in a better way. And it, it just isn't helpful for your vibe and your energy. So if you're getting into these patterns where you immediately go to blaming yourself, when a man pulls away, you really wanna catch that quickly and start to turn it around. So the next thing you should never do when a man pulls away is uh, you shouldn't explain or defend yourself right at this moment. So when you're coming from a place of anxiety or insecurity because a man pulls away, a lot of times, especially if we think it's our fault, we want to like lean forward and start explaining ourselves to a man. And that is actually really unattractive, especially when a man is at that place where he wants to take some space for, for himself. So one of the worst things you can do is start defending yourself and explaining, you know, what yourself over what might have happened beforehand. Let's say if you got in a fight or something, of course, if you feel the need to apologize, you can absolutely do that. And there's always time for that. But in this moment, when a man is pulling away, I would say, don't lean forward and start explaining yourself. I would lean back yourself and give him that space to come back towards you on his own. Then if there's something that uh, you need to talk about with him, that's the time to do it when he comes back towards you, not when he's pulling away or acting distant. So the fourth thing you should never do is confront him. So when a man is like acting distant or he kind of shuts down and gets quiet or when he's pulling away, I understand the tendency to want to like, ask him what's wrong, you know, start peppering him with a million questions about why he's acting distant. I've been there myself so many times, so I, I understand that tendency. But it's one of the worst things you can do because when a man is at that place, he doesn't want to be confronted by his woman. You know, like some of these other things, what the best thing you can do is really lean back yourself and give him that space rather than leaning forward and asking him why he's pulling away, asking questions about the relationship. I would just really anchor yourself right where you are and give him that space and that time to process whatever he needs to process. Then when he comes back towards you, of course, it's okay to have a conversation. If you have questions about how to do that, let me know. Maybe that's a good topic for another video. And the last thing you should never do when a man pulls away is overreact. 
This could look like acting needy or clingy. Um, again, like some of these other ones, asking him questions about the relationship or why did he need to take some space, you know, over texting him. That's a big one I see in a lot of clients. They'll start, you know, they don't hear back from a man, so they just text him over and over trying to get a response and it just pushes him further and further away. So that's the last thing you should never do, you know, overreact become needy or clingy or like demand answers from him in that moment. So what can you do when a man is pulling away? You know, I would really recommend, uh, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, anchoring yourself right where you are, taking your focus and attention off of him and putting it on yourself and your own life. And if you have to give yourself a timeline, sometimes that's really helpful. Uh, I have my clients do that. I'll say something like, you know, give yourself three days to not worry about this, just to you know, let him take some space or give yourself a week to not beat yourself up over this and just let him process whatever he needs to process. And you just need to trust that if he's the right man for you, he will absolutely come back towards you all on his own, sometimes stronger than ever. A lot of times men pull away right as their feelings are actually deepening for, for between the two of you. Right as his feelings are deepening for you, he might need to pull away to process process that. It's kind of a little known secret, but it's really true. Men, uh, especially if they're introverts, like I mentioned, they need a lot of alone time and space to process their emotions because they're, they might not be used to it like we women are, right? So the best thing you can do is pull your energy and focus and attention off of him and just get busy doing your own thing. Put that focus on yourself and your own life where it belongs. And you know, if he's the right man for you, he should absolutely start to come back towards you when he's ready. Then if you need to have some kind of conversation about what happened, if you had an argument or something, and that's what caused him to pull away, then you can do it when his energy is coming back towards you. So those are the five things that you should never do when a guy pulls away. I would love to hear your thoughts and experiences with this. Feel free to type that into the comment section. I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to discover exactly what to say and do to get the man and relationship you've always wanted, click the button on the right side of this video to visit our website, and I will talk to you soon.